In this video, we're going to be looking at equivalent ratios. We've already talked about ratios, uh, and specifically today, we're going to look at uh, when ratios are equivalent. Um, again, let's take a look at the definition of ratio. Uh, a ratio is a comparison of two quantities. Okay, and then when ratios make the same comparison, they're called equivalent ratios. And then when ratios are equivalent, they are said to be proportional. These are three definitions you need to be familiar with. A ratio, equivalent ratios, and a proportion. Uh, now let's take a look. Actually, let me show you on this page real quick. If we looked at a simple ratio, um, we could say there are a ratio of boys to girls in the classroom. We could count the boys and we could say that there are eight boys to the 12 girls in the classroom. So it would be a ratio of eight to 12. Now, we could say reduce that fraction and it would be four to, um, say four to six, okay? These two ratios state the same thing. They are equivalent ratios. Now technically they could be reduced again to a final ratio of 2 to 3. All three of these ratios say the same thing, therefore they are equivalent ratios and because they are all equivalent they are all proportional or they form a proportion. Alright, let's go ahead and look at how you write equivalent ratios using division or multiplication. For example, again, if I give you the ratio, say, 4 to 10. That's a ratio 4 to 10. Well, we could use division, and we could simply, uh, let's write it as a fraction, 4 to 10. Now, if we use division, we could divide both the numerator and the denominator, or the numbers of the ratio, by 2, and we would get 2 out of 5. That would be an equivalent ratio to 4 to 10. Well, we could use the same ratio of 4 to 10. Again, we'll write it as a fraction, 4 over 10. And instead of dividing by 2, uh, let's say, let's, let's triple the ratio. We could multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3, and we would get a ratio of 12 to 30. Again, this ratio is equivalent to the original 4 to 10. This ratio is also equivalent to 2 fifths. So writing equivalent, uh, equivalent ratios is as simple as dividing both numbers by the same number, such as 2, which is taking half of both numbers, or we could multiply both numbers in the ratio by 3, which is basically tripling the ratio. Now let's look at what it means to determine uh, if ratios are proportional or not. Alright, for example, let's say we have a ratio of 2 to 3 and another ratio of, I don't know, 7 to 8. And we want to know if they are proportional. A couple ways you can do this. You can write them as fractions 2 to 3 and 7 to 8. And then you're asking whether or not they are equal. So I've got a question, question mark over there. Now, you can also reduce the fractions. And you'll notice that these fractions are both reduced and they do not say the same thing. Uh, this fraction is 2 thirds and this is 7 eighths, so they're not the same. You can also find the cross products. 2 times 8 would be 16. 7 times 3 would be 21. And since 16 does not equal 21, 
then these ratios are not proportional. Uh, let's look at another example, example two. Um, let's take a ratio of three to four and a ratio of nine to 12. Again, we can write them as fractions, three to four, set it equal to with a question mark of nine to 12. Well, again, you can always reduce both of the fractions. Three-fourths is already reduced, and nine-twelfths, uh, the greatest common factor of that, uh, if you will divide by three, you will notice that this ends up being three-fourths as well. So three-fourths obviously equals three-fourths, so these are proportional. Again, you can find the cross products. 12 times 3 is 36, and 9 times 4 is 36. 36 equals 36. So 3-fourths, three, three or 3 to 4, and 9 to 12 are proportional. So in this lesson, we are looking at equivalent ratios, and we are determining whether two ratios are proportional or not.